I'm Holly Gregory. I'm a partner in the international law firm of Sidley Austin. Today, we're talking about each and every business deal from HBO's succession. Let's gang up on Dad and take him down. Who's really behind me? Just take the money. Me, Rome, calm, take down Dad. Do not do this. You have to be a killer. Acquisitions. In the very first episode, we see Kendall going to Valter, a social media company, to explore acquiring them. Waystar has been very slow to pivot into the social media, digital media space. And the easiest way to remain relevant is to acquire a company that already has built that capacity. And that's what Valter is. I think Valter is the shiz. But it becomes very clear early on that Lawrence isn't a big fan of the Roy family. Take care, dude. If early on they're not certain that they want the deal, they're going to negotiate hard to try to see how much money will be on the table. They're not going to budge unless it gets to be a stupid number. What's a stupid number? What's stupid? A bedillion, I don't know. Kendall probably has a sense of how much leeway he has to negotiate. He's probably gotten some direction from his father about how much he can bargain. Did you close? Um, we're not quite closed. I'm going to 120. There are many ways to sweeten a deal. You can offer more money. The number is 140. You can offer a board seat. You're on our board. You're going to still run this company independently. We're not going to interfere with you. We're just going to give you some advice from time to time and make sure you have resources. Corporate funding. It's very common for companies to have debt. They're borrowing money and using it to invest so that they can make money. Logan has taken out a loan. And to secure the loan, he has pledged his family's stock. Three billion. He agreed to a condition that said if the value of the stock went below $130 a share, the bank had the right to call the loan immediately and the bank would be repaid from the stock. It'll stabilize. It will take them from owning more than half of the company to owning about 36% of the company. What I'd like to know is what your position will be if we have a sustained breach of the stock price and we fall out of compliance with our debt covenant. A loan covenant is a condition important to the loan and if you breach that condition, it has some implication for when the loan is due or how much is owed under the loan. Right. I know. In the COVID pandemic in May of 2020, a number of companies were looking at their loan covenants and renegotiating with their banks because of the immediate hit to the business. The banker has to be thinking of the bank's own shareholders. He needs to make sure that this loan is secured and that this loan gets repaid. Capital investment. Kendall goes to Stewie, who's a friend, but also a private equity investor, and has a fund that may be able to provide the money the Roy family needs to pay back the loan. Private equity investor is someone, an uh, investor who has a fund that invests in companies through private means. To sell it, I'm going to need voting stock. Voting stock is stock that has voting rights, and most stock does have voting rights. I'm also going to need a board seat. What's different is the board seat. Stewie wants to be on the board because a member of the board of directors has a lot more information than a shareholder does and has the ability to influence decisions that the company is making in a more regular fashion. She's making sure you're not selling any more of the company from under me. This is very interesting. So this is where in selling the family stock, Kendall would have had to have gotten approval from the holding company voting trust. Voting trust agreement. The family members have votes in this voting trust, and they do that by giving votes in the trust to each of the children, Logan's ex-wife, his brother, and at the start of the show, there's a discussion about giving a share to Marcia. I'm going to add Marcy to myself and you four. Oh, okay. And my seat also to go to her on my... Death. That means when he passes away, she will then have two votes. Some family businesses do have these kinds of voting trusts and do have their children heavily engaged in the business. And there's nothing fundamentally wrong with that. Here, however, this is a public company with shareholders who are widely dispersed. their pension funds and institutional investors and people like you and me who invest through our 401k plans. So it's not just a family business. They have to watch out for all the shareholders. 
vote of no confidence. With a particular company, when a CEO, a chairman gets sick, you will see the stock price go down. We've seen it, for example, at Apple with Steve Jobs. When it was announced that he was ill, the stock took a hit. So in the aftermath of his father's stroke, Kendall is seeing a real change in Logan, and he's worried that Logan isn't making good decisions in running the company. Do you think the real Logan would want us to stand by and watch while he throws it all away? So he decides to see if he can get the board to support him in what he calls a vote of no confidence. At the next board meeting, there's going to be a vote of no confidence. So a vote of no confidence really isn't a legal term. It's the notion of let's take a vote and get a sense of how we feel about this individual. Are we confident in their leadership? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, quite a turnout. The meeting has been called, and it's clear that this is the, one of the key points on the agenda. And Logan is there. Typically, you would not have Logan there to have this discussion. You would find a way to do it in what's called executive session without the person who is conflicted in this decision there. You don't get to vote and you don't get to comment. The other thing that's unusual is clearly Kendall hasn't done his homework. He hasn't done a good job of understanding how strongly other directors feel about this issue. And you would not go into this vote without having a really good idea of who was supporting you and who wasn't. And Kendall, Frank, Asha, Alona, off the board, fired with immediate uh, effect. I don't think you're able to Security. do that. The firing is very interesting. Certainly the CEO can fire people who are employees, but what he's really trying to do is fire them as directors. And that's not a power that he has. Oh, fuck off. But he's a very influential and very, very large shareholder. So he probably knows that he can cause them not to be renominated and therefore not to be up for re-election, which is sort of the same as being fired. Hostile takeover strategy. A bear hug is an offer that's too good to turn down. It's an offer that is so rich that shareholders would be furious if the board didn't accept it. So at the wedding of his sister, Kendall gives his father the offer. It's a proposal to buy Waystar for $140 a share. A little bit unusual delivering the letter to your father in his bathroom. It would be more typical for the letter to be delivered to the board of directors at the corporate headquarters. It also would be typical when you get an offer of this type for the board of directors to be very quickly informed. Emergency phone board meeting for later tonight, or is that tomorrow? And also to bring together the legal and crisis communications team so that they can start preparing for a defense Fence. Come on, come on, let's go. The financials are hard. We need political support. We don't have information to really assess how strong this bear hug is, but we do see that it would be a significant amount in addition to what the stock is currently trading at. And so, for example, in the acquisition bid that Elon Musk made for Twitter, he put on the table about 38% more than where the stock was trading. 38% is a lot. Investors would be very happy with 38% premium. Logan and the board are free to say no to the bear hug, but there are also other devices that they have at their disposal. I will have the options for our poison pill defense. A poison pill is a shareholder rights plan, and it's a device that's designed to make the acquisition much more expensive for the acquirer. Corporate merger. Logan is interested in having a much larger company and finding a way to be almost too big to be taken over. And so he is approaching the Pierce family that owns a media empire to see if he can do a deal with them and acquire them. We can all agree, for decade after decade, your outlets have been essential to the functioning of our grand republic. You're here. If they can do this successfully, it will certainly make the company much, much larger. I think we would also like to have a conversation about management. In the negotiation to be acquired, a company can certainly say, look, we hope that when you acquire us, this is who the CEO will be. Who ends up King Potato? But there's really no way to hold them to it. At any moment in time, the board needs to have the flexibility to have in place whoever they think is the right person. Downsizing. If indeed the company is struggling, cutting your losses early can be a good strategy. 
So they have choices. They can try to fix what's wrong and invest a lot of money. Accounting team, analytics team. Or they can look and see what can we sell off now, recoup some money. Hive off the profit center, you keep the domain name, the archive. Or just by shutting down, save some cost. Yeah, you're, you're all fired. I don't really know all of New York employment law, but yes, basically, they can let employees go, they can lay people off. That's within the power of a company. I'd like to thank you all for your hard work. If you have a rational reason to believe that the action you're taking is good for the company and its shareholders, you can downsize. We see in Silicon Valley a lot, a company will acquire a smaller company for its engineering talent or for some intellectual property, and then really not operate the company as it was operating before. Mergers and acquisitions. The lovely thing about selling is everybody gets to go off and do what they want in a hopefully happier, more satisfying life. I would make everything nice for you. I could pay you out or if you want control inside or outside of the assets you love. That's cool. What's interesting about the Gojo deal is Logan seems to be interested in it in a different way. And he believes that there is some real value there. It may be that ultimately they decide that the deal with Gojo is a merger of equals, where the Roy family are still heavily involved on the board and in some executive positions. But Waystar will not be sold because then the show ends. I take over. Dad, just tell them it's gonna be me. They could take the company out of our hands. Step in and take the reins. You plotted a takeover. What the fuck is wrong with you? You lost. This is about the future. This is about our future. Carl stole my sausage. I'm in the middle of turning a fucking tanker. 